Hello friends! Epic Conference has finally arrived with its face-to-face -face mode, and I'm sure that my industry colleagues will have a lot of fun presenting their latest advancements in power electronics. And for now, let's check the latest news in power semiconductors industry. GE Aviation announced a new channel partner, DigiKey Electronics, to market and distribute General Electric silicon carbide power modules for industrial vehicles, aviation and military applications. Available in 1200V and 1700V silicon carbide power modules, they are ideal for high-voltage power generator, DC-DC power converter and or inverter applications that require the highest power density, highest efficiency and reliability such as industrial, aviation and military. Toyota Gose, together with Osaka University, has succeeded in increasing the diameter of substrates for gallium nitrate power devices. In a project headed by the Japanese Ministry of the Environment, Toyota Gase and Osaka University have employed a method of growing gallium nitrate crystals in liquid metal of sodium and gallium to fabricate a high-quality gallium nitrate substrate of over 6 inches, the world's largest level. They will next conduct quality assessment for mass production of 6-inch substrates and continue improving quality and increasing diameter size more than 6 inches. SK Siltron, South Korea's sole silicon wafer maker for chips, plans to spend a combined 845 million US dollars to build a new fab that manufactures 300 mm wafers in order to address a chip shortage due to wafer supply constraints. With a board approval, the key silicon wafer supply to the country's cheap powerhouses, Samsung Electronics and SK Hynix, aims to embark on a fab construction and create more than 1000 jobs there. SK Siltron targets a mass production from the facility starting the first half of 2024. This year, the jury has decided to give the Semicron Innovation Award to Stefan Wirtz and his team from Hitachi Energy Semiconductors in Landsberg, Switzerland, for their innovation regarding high-K silicon carbide power MOSFETs for the next generation of e-mobility power modules. The team has developed a novel MOSGATE stack technology based on high-K dielectrics for silicon carbide power MOSFETs. This year's Semicron Young Engineer Award is given to Michael Bassler from Fraunhofer Institute for Applied Solid-State Physics in Freiburg, Germany, for his work on monolithic integration for gallium nitrate power ICs. Wellspeed, the global leader in silicon carbide technology, announced that Jeff Ferrana has joined the company as Vice President of Enterprise Supply Chain and Procurement, effective March 14. Mr. Ferrana joins Wallspeed from Texas Instruments and has more than 20 years of experience in the semiconductor industry, including supply chain and financial management. This addition to Wallspeed's team of seasoned semiconductor operations professionals, paired with the expansion of production capability for silicon carbide materials and devices in New York and North Carolina, will support the company's rapid growth. Infineon is delighted to invite you to their Industrial Web and Gap Developer Forum, streamed to you from Company Studio in Munich. After a very successful event in 2021, Infineon team is continuing with their next edition of the Industrial Web and Gap Developer Forum, providing design and development engineers with the latest technology, applications and industry insights. As silicon carbide and gallium nitride go broad, the motto of this forum will be out of the niche giving engineers a clear path to achieve the highest energy efficiency amid the most stringent requirements in a wide range of industrial applications. Switch mode power supplies continue to demand high efficiency and high power density, especially in the server and data center applications, due to stringent efficiency requirements by AT Plus, Energy Star 3.0 and European LOT9 standards. The technology development and applications of silicon carbide devices have made them promising substitutions for traditional silicon devices in a variety of applications. Their superior switching speed, low switching loss mean that higher efficiency, high power density, improved robustness and reliability can be achieved. During this webinar, Wallspeed will introduce new C3M silicon carbide tile MOSFETs and 3.6 kW bridgeless totem pole PFC reference design offering a cost-effective thermal interface and the enablement of peak efficiency over 99% at 230 volt input. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for staying with me. As usual, I will bring you more market news next week. Meanwhile, go to my blog for more information or join me in social media. Keep in touch.